Oh. Thanks, Jeff. We are cooking. In fact, I just tried the cheese. I don't know if you guys remember last time Scott was here, but he had a different kind of pepper jack that was a little stronger. It's the but same this pepper one, jack. It's I the think same he's lying, but this one's really good. Maybe I just didn't take as big of a bite. She's, she's getting used to the heat exactly, levels. Exactly, the heat. So joining me today is not only Scott Anderson, who's a great chef, but we have Matt Lay, who is an aspiring chef, already a great chef, but aspiring to be a professional chef. So tell us what we're doing today, Matt. Um, we're making a sage polenta. Okay. Tell everybody what polenta is, because I don't think everybody knows. Yeah, well, do you want to go? <laughs> sure. Polenta is, it's like a uh, creamier form of grits. I'd yeah, say. What, it, what it is, basically, we take a cornmeal, we actually boil it, add a lot of flavor to it, and really, the, the, the cornmeal, you know, people think of just cornbread, but the polenta is kind of a, a palate where you can add different herbs to it, oh, different okay. spices, and it's a... a nice little foundation. Yeah, and of. it's used as, okay. the, uh, as the carb in any type of meal. Instead of a, a potato, you use a polenta, great. and it's really great. And what we're going to do, this is part, uh, guys, I don't know if you see this, last week we were in Jackson <laughs> Hole, and... Uh, Always promoting. <laughs> and we came home, as you can see, um, with the Winners. culinary cup, and we are now... Um, getting ready to go to Charlotte for the national competition. So your East High School team is going to represent the state of Wyoming. So it's a Wyoming team at the Nationals in Charlotte. That's pretty cool. It is. So why don't, since you guys are so good at everything, why don't you get right into it and show us what to do? So Matt's going to start, but while, while he's doing that, um, I, want to, I want to talk a little bit about That's the fine. actual competition. Okay. Well, actually, I'll, I'll tell what Matt's doing, too. That'll uh, be good. Uh, basically, we, we start with the... the chicken stock because okay. what we want to do is we want to add flavor to the cornmeal right um, so when we boil it if you just use water it's going to be very very bland, bland right. right so chicken yes. stock is very good I've if had bland polenta before yeah. and it wasn't good no not at all <laughs> but we're going to we're going to actually kind of spice it up add a lot of flavor to it okay. so Matt's kind of bringing it to a boil all right and because uh, the polenta has got to be at a boil when they add it in okay so but it's real quick it's real easy but at the competition, we had 18 schools. Um, two schools could not show up because of the weather. Right, bad um, weather that weekend. Yep, absolutely. But they, the students are evaluated in 15 areas during this competition, teamwork, sanitation, appearance, communication. Um, it's not just all about the food and plate presentation. Right. It's about the whole The whole team, package. The whole individual. Well, good I, job, I Matt. I told Matt today, you know what? You got Cal Ripken Jr. He's my celebrity today. Isn't that great? And, you know, Matt is actually um, up for a few different scholarships, right? Is we, what you were saying? Absolutely. Our teams, I mentor two teams, one over in Rollins as part of the Carbon County Higher Education Center. Okay. And then, of course, the East High School team. Right. Uh, Rollins took third in state and East took first in state and they came away with a combined cumulative total of three hundred and thirty six thousand dollars in fantastic. scholarships and Matt is looking at going to um, CIA which is the Culinary Institute of America right yeah. in yes. New York City in New York so what we're doing right now is we're bringing this to a boil getting uh -huh. back to the food we're gonna bring this to a boil and it's we're, almost there it's real quick we're gonna start adding the ingredients in a minute but first we're gonna head over to sports just to take a quick break Absolutely. just to give the uh, chicken stock a chance to heat up a little more um, and for that we go over to Hans site so please join us after sports what? You're right, Hans. My bracket has been messed up forever. I don't know about you guys, but I had BC and Duke going to the finals, so look how much I know. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you would guess that they would make it. <laughs> exactly. So we're back with Matt and Scott, and uh, we're getting to the thick of things, literally, because the, the food is starting to thicken up yep. a little bit. And if, if Matt lets me show this, take a look at the, at the <laughs> point. The, the <laughs> it's nice and thick, and we're cooking it, and it is kind of like a grit. So grits. grits. So we just added a little bit of um, vanilla yogurt. Okay. We're going to add in the pepper jack cheese. All right. We're going to add in some butter. It's going to be a real creamy um, oh, That's type what I mixture. Like. And then we're going to hit it with a little salt and pepper and some sage. Okay. So it picks up a lot of the flavors. Now, we'll, I also want to talk about these guys because we All were right. going to Charlotte um, at the end of April, but we have to send... Um, all of our equipment, we got crates of equipment, we have right. to fly the students, we have to fly teachers, we have to fly mint mentors, we have to house. <laughs> so we are doing a fundraiser, a dinner gala, April 15th at okay. the Plains Hotel. They are one of our sponsors. Okay. So if you guys want to... a nice little pitch in there for the Plains Hotel. So if you Hotel. guys want to support the East High School team and help send them off to uh, Charlotte, they are going to be um, producing their whole meal that they won at competition, and at they're actually going to be doing their competition meal, so you'll get to watch oh, them compete okay. so also. you get a little bit of a taste of everything. Debbie Disney at the Plains Hotel is taking all the reservations. Okay. It's going to be limited, about 100 people, so all right. really come out and help now, us. Now, is this the same um, recipe you're going to be doing at yes, the... Yes, okay. absolutely. And now, no. this isn't the whole thing. No. This is just a component. This Tell is us just a little one. bit about the full product we are doing a, while he keeps cooking it We up. are we'll doing a chili-crusted um, venison. Uh, with the sage polenta, and then we're doing uh, a garlic seasoned asparagus. We have a tumbleweed spinach wrap, which won the most memorable um, starter at the competition. And then we have a um, raspberry black blackberry crepe 
um, wow. with a raspberry coulis, and it's just stuff, absolutely huh? wonderful. So I think he is almost is done. It's coming. Good. Yep. Now, polenta, when it cools, it's going to become a little little thicker, a little mm -hmm. harder. You can actually slice it, grill it. Right. Um, but when we're taking it off the heat, it's going to it's gonna spread a little bit. Let okay. me show you. So let's do it. Yep. Matt, can you hold that? Now, yeah, don't have me hold when, that. I always when mess Matt, up. <laughs> when Matt does this in competition, he actually uses a stack, and so it actually forms up oh, okay. into a nice... Like a more of a shape, kind of? Yeah. It's, it stands up. It's nice, and it's firm. But, of course, coming right off the heat, right. this is what, you know, this is what we get. But I tell you what, it is so great. You can add, um, like, ragusa, which is kind of a thicker stew. I mean, mushrooms. It is just absolutely wonderful so get the recipe the basic um, form of the polenta add whatever you like the right. pancetta I mean pepper jack Anything. cheese mozzarella. could I eat this right now you you, you would, would be, enjoy well, it so much we don't have a fork so I'm not going to dig I, here with my no, fingers I, I don't. we always forget forks that's all right because I'll eat the whole <laughs> well, Jeff will find a fork by the way Jeff always finds a fork you're going to be real popular when you hit the ladies because a lady likes a guy who can cook let me, uh, let me give you a little tip right there I'm going to go find a fork for this do you there see you this me surrounded by testosterone isn't this lovely <laughs> alright well we're going to take a quick commercial break guys thanks so much for joining us so welcome. and good luck at the competition we know you're going to do great, and of course, we're supporting you guys. Jeff, stop eating the food. <laughs> Save some for me. Stay with us. We'll be back right after this.